Welcome to our February 5th worship service from North Coast United Methodist Church. No degree of worldly darkness can extinguish the glow of a soul's inner light. May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you through this time of worship, and may that light shine in the darkest places of our being. Amen. Let's join together for our call to worship. Light and salt we are called to be. We are the light of the world. Light and salt we are created to become. We are the salt of the earth. Light and salt we are Christ for the world. We are the light and the salt of the world. Amen. Our memory verse for these special two weeks comes from Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 to 39. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. For this first week, we're going to focus on love God. What does loving God look like to you? Does it look like coming to church and then going back home and continuing on with everything? Or does loving God remind you that after you go to church, you continue and you show people in the community how you love God? Do you remember and help others? Do you remember to love God when you make all of those really hard decisions? Do you make sure that when you have to ask yourself, how best can I love God in this decision that I have to make? Sometimes we have really hard decisions that we have to make and sometimes hard choices. And we have to always think to ourselves, how best can I love God in these decisions that I have to make? Sometimes they're easy decisions. Sometimes they're hard decisions. But always at the end of the day, God still loves us. God still wants the best things for us at the end of the day because love is the most important thing of all, right? So join me at church this Sunday. Let's talk about all about love with God. And then next week, we're going to talk about how do we love those neighbors next door. Let's join together in prayer. God of radiant love, Bring light to our journey that we may see your path and correct our ways. Shine in us and through us that we may be lights of compassion and justice, sign points to the glory of your kingdom for all the world to see. Amen. Our scripture reading today comes from the book of Romans, chapter 5, verses 13 through 20. To be sure, sin was in the world before the law was given, but sin is not charged against anyone's account where there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from the time of Adam to the time of Moses, even over those who did not sin by breaking a command as did Adam, who is a pattern of the one to come. But the gift is not like the trespass. For if the many died by the trespass of the one man, how much more did God's grace and the gift that came by grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow to the many, nor can the gift of God be compared with the result of one man's sins. The judgment followed one sin and brought condemnation, but the gift followed many trespasses and brought justification. For if by the trespass of the one man, death reigned through that one man, how much more will those who receive God's abundant provision of grace and of the gift of righteousness reign in the life through the one man, Jesus Christ? Consequently, 
just as one's trespass resulted in condemnation for all people, so also one righteous act resulted in the justification and life for all people. For just as through the disobedience of the one man, the many were made sinners, so also through the obedience of the one man, the many will be made righteous. The law was brought in so that the trespass might increase, but where sin increased, grace increased all the more. Today as we share in the reality that there is a light that shines in the darkness, as we look at the promises the Apostle Paul has shared through the grace of Jesus Christ, we also deal with realities that makes that grace transparent. We deal with situations that makes the darkness even darker. And today, I struggle with working towards having the language, the words, to talk about a sustaining grace as we receive word on the events in Nashville, as we receive word of more shootings and more acts of violence on vulnerable people as we continue to deal within the vulnerability of what happened with the Lunar New Year celebration. There's so many things that makes the darkness brighter and it makes it hard to talk about the places where the light shines. So today, as I shared a couple of weeks ago in worship, sometimes we need the poets, the musicians, and the dreamers to say the words that we can't say on our own. So today, I'm going to let Queen Latifah, Harry Chapin, Helen Reddy, and Sam Cook share the words with you on what it means to look for a light in dark places. May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you in this moment of musical prayer. Amen. There's a light in the darkness Though the night is black as my skin There's a light burning bright Showing me the way But I know where I've been There's a cry in the distance It's a voice that comes from deep within There's a cry asking why I pray the answer's up ahead yeah. Cause I know where I Will be planted. 
struggle that we have yet to win. And there's pride in my heart, cause I know where I'm going. Yes, I do. And I know where I've been. Yeah. There's a road. There's a road. We must travel. We must travel. There's a promise. There is a promise. We must make. And we must make. A glorious end. Oh, but the riches. Will be great.
in a little tent Oh, and just like the river I've been running Ever since It's been a long A long time coming But I know A change gonna come Oh, yes it will It's been too But I know a change gon' come. Oh, yes it will. I go to the movie and I go downtown. Somebody keep telling me don't hang around. It's been a long. But I know a change gon' come Oh, yes it will Then I go to my brother And I say, brother, help me please But he winds up knocking me back down on my knees. Oh, there have been times that I thought I could last for long, but now I think I'm able to carry. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know a change gon' come. Oh, yes it will. Keep holding on, you'll make 
take it Here's my hand, so take it Look for me, reaching out to show As sure as rivers flow I'll never let you go I'll never let you go As we deal with the reality of the struggles of the everyday, I pray that we find ways to see the light and be the light for others. May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Thank you for joining us in this time of worship. Let's join together in our closing benediction. Go forth to be light and life. Go forth with compassion mercy, and grace. Go forth with confidence, strength, and hope, steering your lives by the light of Christ. May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. God is love. Amen.